I've seen the knife on multiple occasions, but obviously not knowing how much the situation would escalate in the future, I didn't think much of it, which I think is quite a regret now. There's regret that I didn't make sure he didn't bring the knife, but in terms of reporting him, unless I knew that he was, unless I'd seen that he was going to use it on someone, I hadn't, I just, it didn't occur to me that it would escalate to such a high level that I would need to report him urgently or get the knife off of him or anything like that. So, I think the message about pupils taking a bit more responsibility on what their friends bring to school is quite important, but at the same time I don't think that's very realistic because pupils wouldn't, whether it be a knife or whether it be just a little matchbox or lighter, pupils wouldn't grass on their friends or snitch on anyone unless there's some sort of danger that they can see if it's just a normal guy with something in his pocket then I don't think pupils would snitch on them. I think it should be more the teachers and the school authorities responsibility to make sure people don't bring stuff than it is pupils themselves. If I was to be honest with you there's nothing to stop it happening again if someone had that if someone had that mindset or had that intention or anything like that, there's nothing the school has put in place since last year that would stop that from happening. Like, everyone's like, they're gonna do bag searches or any like detectors or teachers gonna speak to them, but it's very easy for someone to just put something in their pocket or in their bag and no one would notice, ever. I, I don't think anything's been changed since last year. There's been nothing done to ensure that people's pockets are empty or people aren't bringing inappropriate items into school any longer. So I would say, if someone would have that horrible mindset to want to do that again, there would be nothing to stop them.